take it. It's yours because I'm a professional. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing kind of like a quick review slash first impression review of the new CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Natural Glow Foundation. This is pretty new, very new to me. I've had it for about two weeks and I've been testing it out and you guys know how much I love the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Stay Fabulous foundation. It's definitely my favorite drugstore foundation, or at least my most recent drugstore foundation favorite uh, in the last year or so, and I've repurchased it time and time again. And I typically stay away from luminous or glowy, dewy kind of foundations because I tend to get oily and I live in a super humid climate. Houston, Texas. You guys who live here, you know it's pretty brutal at times. So I typically just leave all that alone and I go a little bit more towards like the matte or just like basic foundation situation. And that's what the three in one is. That one's like a stay fabulous. It's not luminous, but it's more of like a matte thing. Wait, can we pause for one second? I need to talk about my lips. My lips are... <sighs> I tried out something new today and I'm feeling like it's not going well at all. I was excited about the color, but the formula, I don't know. I think that I'm going to do like a review about what is going on on my lips right now, but hopefully you can bear with me if they look weird right now. I can't tell if they look super weird on camera right now, but I was just going with it. Hopefully it's not overly distracting. It probably is because they're like neon in your face. I quickly wanted to address that because it's not, I'm not completely unaware if they're looking crazy because they, they feel crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Back to the foundation. There are only six shades and maybe they'll add more shades if it becomes really popular. I don't know. Six seems like not enough in my book. I got 825 which is buff beige and on the back it says give skin even coverage and natural glow that lasts all day. I believe that I already mentioned it's a pump packaging. It looks almost exactly like the Stay Fabulous except it's red instead of blue which has no bearing on the performance of the product but it's nice that it has a pump. And much like the Stay Fabulous it is a pretty thick product but I do find it pretty easy to spread out. I like to use a flat top kabuki brush which is pretty much my favorite application for any foundation. I think you could also easily use the Beauty Blender but that tends to sheer things out so if you're going for more coverage, I would say use a brush, less coverage, beauty blender. But that's like a general rule for me. I have it on my face right now, but of course I do also have concealer and powder and all that stuff. I kind of like went all out today. I did record my application, so hopefully I'm showing that to you right now or something. I did one full pump and then I did a little bit of additional, probably like a quarter pump and just went over the spots where I'm breaking out because I have some pretty active breakouts right now. I don't know what's going on with my face, but this is pretty much a medium coverage and I was able to build up the coverage just a little bit, not really a whole lot. I, w I did have to go in with concealer to really cover the breakouts, but typically medium coverage is what I'm looking for. I don't really like a full coverage for every day and I think most people don't need full coverage every day, but no, that's not really my business. You can have full coverage if you want it. Take it. It's yours. Now onto my pros and cons, which I wrote on the outside of an envelope because I'm a professional. On the pro side, I have the packaging. I love the pump. That's always a great thing in a drugstore foundation because unfortunately, it's not the standard. I wish it was, but it's not. Next, like I said, it is a thicker formula and I expected it to kind of be thinner because it's luminous, but it was still really easy to blend. And since I'm typically kind of shy towards the whole luminous, dewy foundation situation, I was really happy to see that it's not like overly luminous. It's not greasy. It's just more of like a fresh natural look. I don't know why that got quotes, but you know, it's just not super hyper matte. So if you're like me and the word luminous kind of scares you, you might still like this. Another thing I was really impressed with is the staying power. It doesn't have the staying power of like Revlon Color Stay, which is just like bulletproof, but I don't think they really market it that way, but it does stay on really well. I would say it almost stays on as well as the 3-in-1 Outlast Stay Fabulous, which can I just say that has too many names? Just 
had to say it. I did get shiny through the day, but it was never to the point where I was like, okay, stop everything. Nobody look at me. I'm going to use a shine sheet. And I'm inside, outside, running all around throughout the day. It's not like I'm in a controlled environment all day under air conditioning or anything like that. Like I'm all over the place and I get really shiny. I do have to say I had the best luck with it staying on and not getting super greasy when I used my NYX matte finish spray. You guys know I love this stuff. I use it before I apply foundation, concealer, all that stuff, and it really, really helps me to stay matte. At the same time, I do have to say, even when I did get shiny, the coverage stayed. It didn't separate really badly, so that's a big plus. For the con side, I don't have very much. I do have to say that when I was testing it out, I did try it without a primer and without the spray, and I got shiny a whole lot faster, but I think that's just my skin condition. Like, I just get oily if I don't use the spray and the primer and la la la. But I also tried it without the primer and with just the spray and it definitely performed better than without anything underneath. And the final verdict is I am really happy that I purchased this. I can't say if I would repurchase it yet. I think that I have to use it for a few more weeks probably. I don't think it has replaced the place in my heart that the three in one Stay Fabulous has, but I do really like this and I was pleasantly surprised for sure. And even if you're not a luminous girl, you could still really like this if you want to go out on a limb. Again, it's a drugstore product, so it always has the perk of not breaking the bank, which I'm always a fan of. I really hope this review helped you guys. Give it a thumbs up if it did, and comment down below. What should I review next? I love hearing from you guys. If you want to find me anywhere else, I'll put those links down below. Come say hey. I love you guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Uh, and if you have, thank you so much. You are my people, and I love you. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. It's a matte thing. I don't know. Fresh slash natural. Fresh slash natural. I'm going to give you a tour of my new empty home. For all of you guys that have gone on my little house hunting journey with me through my vlogs, thank you so much. I love you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy this little tour. All right, and moving upstairs. There was an option to get wood stairs, but ugh, I just didn't feel like I could spend the money even though I would definitely rather have wood stairs. And then this is the little landing area. And this is the master bedroom.